Hey everyone, so I am here for a not really update, <laughs> um, but I thought I would check in with you guys just the same. Um, it's been two weeks, so this is week, um, what, 98, 99, 99, almost 100, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Um, so what have I been up to the past two weeks? Well, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last update, because I was kind of ranting in my last update. Um, but um, I had I'm up I had gotten up to like 178 pounds, which is good. That's what I was trying to do, but that was 10 pounds up from my lowest. So the plan was always you know to you know slowly gain you know a pound a month, um, and then once I got you know 10 or 15 pounds up was to cut a bit. So two weeks ago I decided. It was time to try and uh, lower those calories a little bit and see if the weight would go down. And it did. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Uh, but it's been oscillating quite a bit. Like it, it dropped down to like two days ago, yeah, two or three days ago, I dropped down to below 175. So it's definitely trending down. But now, like this morning, I weighed in at 177. So, I mean, it's lower than my high of two weeks ago, but not by much. So, I mean, that's that's perfect. I don't want it to go down too quick, obviously, because I don't want to lose any of that muscle that I've been working on, but um, I did drop down my calories quite a bit. Um, just trying to pull up a report here. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I would pause this if I could, but I can't. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Let's see. Calories. My fitness pal. 30 days. Wish they had a two week. Be a lot easier for me. Um, but yeah, my my calories look like they've been around anywhere from 3,000 uh, up to 3,400. So let's uh, say in the middle of that, 3,200 approximately. Um, that's down, you know, two or 300 from my average that I've been at for a long, long time. So that's good. Um, most of that seems to be coming from carbs, and it's kind of an interesting phenomenon. Since I've not been pushing the food, and I've not been trying to hit any particular number, um, other than my macros, I've been trying to you know get my you know 190 plus protein um, to get my you know 100 grams of fat, and then carbs. I found that my my hunger, not my hunger, but my um, my ability to eat. Let's put it that way has really gone down, um, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm enjoying not having to cram those extra few hundred calories into my diet. Um, cause it's, it's hard. It's hard to do. Um, so, yeah, so most of my drop has been coming from carbs, so that's probably a lot of the reason why my weight has been fluctuating um, by a few pounds pretty easily, cause you know, Plus or minus 50 grams of carbs, that's like half a pound, like just in water weight. So um, it's kind of hard to, to track with that. But my salt has been really low. I've been I've been working to keep that low just so it doesn't add to the uncertainty um, of what's going on. And yeah, it's working. I, I know people think I'm crazy when I say this, but I, I feel like I've been losing weight. <laughs> like I can actually physically feel it um, when I'm dropping weight. So. And I notice it too in like my legs, for example. Um, I have veins that pop out a lot more <laughs> than they have been. So, um, so it's working and it's good. I don't know how far down I'm gonna go. I, might, I think I might go for another two weeks, um, and then you know bump it back up to my my gaining. And I'm sort of using this time actually to not be. Um, I wouldn't say not working as hard in the gym, but trying to work on my, my technique and, and, and nail down my exercises. I'm a, a month overdue in changing my program, so I've kind of been just flaking out for about a month now um, with not really any particular goals or what body parts I wanted to work on or exercises I wanted to work on. So I've really taken this time to try and focus on that. So what have I been doing in the gym? Well, I've come to some conclusions. The first one, which is something I've always known, but I've kind of been... I don't know, trying to be, trying to ignore it maybe, is working on a flat bench for me is not, it's just not feasible. It's not 
it's not something I can do with the back, with the shape of my back. Um, you know, being able to keep my hips and my shoulders square on the bench and straining to push that weight, it just it just doesn't happen. I end up hurting. I end up using my shoulders too much uh, when I'm like bench pressing, for example, um, or you know because I have my cervical vertebrae that are I have two of them that are pinched forward, so my head is always up from the bench as well, and I end up straining my neck. Uh, when I try and go up and wait. So that's out. Bench press is out. Um, you know, lying um, tricep extension is out. Um, uh, even something like a chest fly, um, I can, I might still do it on an incline bench, but on a flat bench, it's it's out. Um, you know, I just I don't want to hurt myself, and there are often exercises I can do for that. So. What I've been working on is using the cable, uh, the cable system at my gym. We now have three of them at my gym now. So there's usually, well, three. We have more than three cables, but we have at least three stations where I can use two cables at the same time. Um, so, so I've been using those for my chest press. Um, I've been doing like decline straight up, and the harder one is going from underneath going up. Uh, like a crossover type movement, um, and these these are these are tough because you really have to keep your body engaged, um, and you know keep your form strict and whatnot. So I might start trying to film myself. I don't know how people in the gym are gonna feel about that, <laughs> but on some days it gets pretty quiet in there. So maybe on those I will, just so I can get some idea of like how bad it looks, um, if my form is close or not. Um, but I've been doing that. I've also been using the the ropes, the rope cable, uh, for my triceps, doing like extreme overhead extensions, and I really like that. <laughs> I did uh, the other day. I did I did the rack. Like I started at my max weight, and I just kept going down and down and down because the reason why I did it was not because it's necessary to sort of building muscle, but I just wanted to work on that form a lot. So I spent a lot of I've been spending a lot of time in the gym, like up to two hours now. Um, past couple weeks because it's been a lot of that you know trying new exercises and trying to get the form down and make sure it feels right um, what I'm doing so so yeah so I've been doing that um, what else my squats god I hate doing squats <laughs> I really need to find a way to work with that I mean I've been doing it with like you know just dumbbell squats and with the trap bar and you know, I try to put the exercise ball on my back um, because putting again putting that weight on my shoulders is really hard because to keep that line on my back when my back is curved um, is really challenging. Plus, when I go down with the bar on my back because of my neck again, it has a tendency to roll forward, and I'd rather not decapitate myself. So, <laughs> so I've really been working on that. I'm actually going to talk to the gym. Um, gym owner if I can catch him um, and see if he's if they're thinking about getting because they used to have a hack squat uh, machine and they sold it they said they were going to replace it and then they never did so a hack squat is basically you know, you've got an inclined plane that you do your squat on so you have a path that's predetermined so I don't have to worry about my back you know um, getting all bent out of shape you know trying to do these squats plus instead of having a bar, they have like pads that go on your shoulders. So that's a lot less risky for me. So I'm going to talk to you about that. There's also a special bar that you can get that has pads like that as well. So anyway, I'm going to talk about, I mean, he's been investing in the gym. So if I mention it, who knows, you know, <laughs> uh, maybe he'll, uh, he'll do that. Deadlifts have been going good. Um, I've been doing sumo and regular deadlifts. Um, the regular deadlifts are far more satisfying, and I'm glad that I can actually do them now. <laughs> and I have a lot more power also when I'm doing the regular sort of American style um, deadlift. Um, I have to be careful with my back because it's a little bit more lower back um, risky, um, but really it feels a lot more full body. Because when you're doing the, the sumo deadlift, your range of motion is not is not nearly as much, um, 
and you're using like more of those stabilizing kind of legs than just going up and down. So, so yeah, but I've been doing both and I enjoy them and they're like the most satisfying thing I do at the gym. Like I was, uh, yesterday was a rest day and I was, you know, I spent like half the day watching, you know, YouTube videos, uh, on fitness and weightlifting and whatever, just to pass the time. And then I fell asleep and I ended up like waking up in a dream when I was deadlifting. <laughs> so that's, that tells you where things are at. Um, yeah, so the gym is going good, trying new things. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to basically trying out new exercises on my own. And then I'll book an appointment with my trainer to get like an actual program and get them, you know, to, you know, observe my form and give me some tips on it to make sure I'm doing it okay. So, so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> um, let's see, what else have I been doing? Well, you saw my Costco haul, so I've cleaned up my diet a little bit. Um, I got rid of those flavored yogurt things uh, because, you know, I they're not really... They're very processed, those flavored yogurts. I mean, if you look at the ingredients, sure, the stats look great. You know, they're low-calorie, they got a lot of protein, but when you actually look at the ingredients, there's actually a lot of sugar in them, and... A lot of the protein comes from just milk concentrate that they put in, which is protein powder. So I don't need more protein powder in my life. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have two shakes a day as it is um, on top of milk that I drink. So why would I want that in my yogurt, right? So I went back to like the natural, you know, Greek yogurt where it says like skim milk, bacteria culture, and that's it. No sugar, none of that. And um, what I do is, oh, maybe I'll post a picture up there. Let's see if that works. Um, of what I do, you know, I pour, you know, I buy the big tub of, of yogurt and I portion it out, and uh, I put real fruit, real frozen fruit, in there. And it's kind of crazy, guys, because you look at these stats on things, how much sugar in, is in in them, but there's no way that you can put an actual amount of fruit in there to get that amount of sugar. Like, I, for example, I use a large portion of yogurt. So I, it's like about almost three quarters of a cup of yogurt. And then I put like 50 or 60 grams of fruit in there. And it's really, it's not a lot of sugar. Like not, not nearly as much sugar is in, is in those little pre pre-made things. And the flavor is like, bang on like fruit flavor it's not like some subtle sugary flavor that you get in one so yeah that's my anti yogurt um <laughs> uh what else did a little bit of cooking yesterday made my black bean brownies uh, made a chicken pizza that i'm gonna eat this week um oh i took some pictures and i'll put the pictures up at the end because i don't know i'm kind of proud of them but but they're still really awkward Let's let's be honest here. I'm no uh, I'm no fashion model. I'm no bodybuilding uh, posing kind of person. Um, but I'm really starting to look how, like how I look. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a strange thing to look at those pictures and say that's me. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, liking the way I look. And I'm feeling really good in the core, like my, my, my core strength is really improving and I can, you know, I feel solid um, in my core. And I think that's mostly because of the deadlifts. Um, I mean, I've been doing other exercises too, like sit-ups and, and, you know, glute raises and all those kind of things too. But I think the deadlifts are really strengthening up my midsection, so that is great. Because the way I look at it, the stronger that I can make, you know, my back and abdominal muscles, the less risk of injury I'm going to have from my bad back. So, um, and the more I'll be able to do, the more biking I'll be able to do, the more, you know, outdoorsy activities um, I'll be able to do uh, with a stronger core. So, so that's, so what am I focusing on in the gym? What do I want to build up? Well, like I said, core is still my priority. But on top of that, I want to work on my chest, and I want to work on my triceps. Um, 
those are the three big things that I really want to work on uh, because I haven't been able to, again, because of my back. Um, it's really hard to get exercises that do well with those body parts. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we're at 15 minutes already. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, so check out the pictures at the end because why not, right? They're fun. And um, get out there, get your fitness in, be strong, and <laughs> see you later. <laughs>